Hey guys, what's up, Ruddy here, bringing you a live attack. So we are in a war against LP4 Hades. They are a Lost Phoenix clan, and one of Galadon's clans. Um, so, interesting war. It's shaping up pretty good for us at the moment. So I'm going to see if I can top it off with a 3 star. So, this base has already been hit by TY. Um, he came in with a hog raid, which is why I chose this base, because a lot of people use Laloon and they don't trip all the bombs. So, I got to see where all the bombs are. Um, I'll go ahead and show you the bombs first. So, he's got a double in there, and a sneaky double up here, um, which did mess up TY a bit. He's also got a Tesla here, um, a Tesla over here, Tesla here, and a Tesla above that bomb set there. So, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and do a three golem goho, a uh, stone goho. So, I'm thinking for this base, we'll go ahead and we'll send a golem in there, golem in there. Um, then we'll go ahead and break the funnel, like usual. So, we'll go ahead and we'll drop one wizard, two wizard, um, one wizard, two wizard our archer queen here um and then we'll go ahead and we'll send in uh we'll go send in war breakers there let everything in uh we may have to skew them a bit over this side if this golem diverts to that archer tower which it could do um but we'll see uh and then we'll go ahead and send in another golem let our queen come in, do a bit of work. Uh, might send in another witch, whiz to back it up. Once the CC starts pulling, we'll go ahead and put down our rage spell. Sort of like in this area here, we'll then go ahead and send in our barb king also. Um, I think I mentioned that I'll send in my third golem in, which will happen. Uh, we'll also go ahead and put in a poison spell. Uh, probably around there, just on the edge of our kill squad. Um, once that's all done, we'll go ahead and we'll put in our jump spell here. That'll let us into the queen. Um, it'll also let us into those double giant bombs. So we should go ahead and get rid of those. Uh, that's why I'm bringing three golems. Hopefully we can get all of the bombs, um, plus a Tesla and a few point defense. If we do get that done, then hopefully we will. Um, we're going to go ahead and start our hogging. So, depending on whether this archer tower is up or not, we'll send in two groups of hogs up here. That won't be all of our hogs. Um, taking 24 hogs, so it will probably be around uh, 16 hogs. And then we'll let those come down this way. We'll also send in another four here. Actually, no, say another six there. So, three, three. And then once our hogs reach down here, we'll send in another two on there. Um, heal spells will go like this. So, our first heal will go around um, that kind of area there. Yeah, something like that. And then our second heal will probably end up around here somewhere. Depending on what our hogs do, maybe over here, maybe over here, or maybe up there. Not really sure what our hogs will do. Um, hopefully we get this double bomb down. If we don't, that could be a big issue. Yeah, that'll, that, that will cause problems for sure. Um, but yeah, just hoping we get at least one of those bombs tripped. If we only get one trip, then of course our heels are going to go around there. Um, but we should be sweet. The hogs aren't really my biggest worry on this attack. I'm more worried about the opener, my kill squad. See what happens with that if we can get all the double giant bombs tripped. Then we should be sweet. Um, reasoning for my heal. Not covering moors like I could put it there. Um, I could chuck it down there. That wouldn't really be too big of a difference. But if I put it here... Um, it would allow my golems to divert into there. And then also once they take down that expo, some of them will go that way. Some will go to that Tesla, which I don't want. I want them coming across there and tripping those bombs. So that's the reason I only have 
my jump spell covering these two sections here because that's all I want my hogs to do. I mean my golems to do. I just want them to come down that way. We should get it. Um, we really should get it. I'd be surprised if we didn't because... I mean, we need to come down there anyway for the queen. Um, we're bringing three golems, so... That's a lot of tanking power. Yeah, I'm really hoping we get it. Um, switch to my mobile data real quick. And then I think we're good to attack, really. Um, I think I've covered everything. Always nervous. Always nervous. Let's go. Switch over to Clash. Let's get ready for this attack. Um, kind of disgusted on Group Me, and everyone thought the idea would work. Or at least Cody did. So, Cody, if I fuck up, I'm blaming it on you. Um, someone screwed up. Yeah, they're packing dragons and loons in their CC, um, which is difficult to deal with. I did an attack and it didn't go well due to a dragon. Um, but that's my comp. Yeah, that's all sweet. Okay. Um, do I have heal spells? Yes, I do. Yeah, everything looks sweet. Let's hope I don't forget anything, and let's get this show on the road. Um, so let's go ahead, and we are attacking this dude, Minku. Your name looks like that, anyway. Um, yeah. So come in from the top, come down. Standard stuff. Hopefully my queen doesn't get too distracted. Uh, hopefully she takes out a few point defense. Hopefully my king does work. Um, I don't see how I could have too many issues with this attack, really. Hog deploy should be fine. Um, I'll drop my heal straight on that expo. Um, yeah, let's attack. Let's get this show on the road, guys. Everything looks good. Whew, I'm nervous, I'm nervous. Ah, let's go, let's go. Alright. Heroes are good, spells are good. Three golems, three wall breakers. Whew. Alrighty, I'm ready. I'm ready, guys. I'm ready. Okay, select our golems. Um, and let's get ready to drop these suckers. First golem down. Second golem down. One, two, whiz. Three, four, whiz. Um, also drop my queen. Okay, okay, okay. Looking sweet. Drop wall breakers in now. Yep, that's sweet. Drop our next golem in. Okay, that's looking good. That is looking good. Okay, we'll drop another one. Two whiz. Um, we'll get that rage spell coming in in a second. There we go. Also get our king coming in. Yep, perfect. Perfect. Get those golems coming down. Um, King do doing work there. Okay, sweet, sweet. Now let's go heavy deploy there. Um, that's all good. Boom. Get rid of those skelly traps. Send in my extra hogs on the side. My queen's still up and doing work, so... We're looking alright. Get that second heal going. Um, we'll send in Skelly there. Okay, our last heal will come down the bottom. Um, five, four, three, two, uno. There we go. Alright. Get another whiz up top. We'll get um, Minion going over there. Pop our Queen's ability real quick. Uh, we have a minute 15 left. For clean up, I think we got this, guys. I think we got this. That was nerve-wracking. Oh, pump that base. Completely pumped it. Holy shit. Look at these archers get fried. Boom! <laughs> if that ends the raid for me, I'll be pissed off. But nah, we got 50 seconds left. We're sweet. That was a beast attack. Um, that archer queen going up. She could have run around, but I'm, I'm liking the new AI, to be honest. 
close call with the king as well with the funnel. Yeah, that was lucky. Um, but nah, sweet. We'll finish it off with 25 seconds left. A bit more than that. Far out. Ton of hogs up. Yeah, that was beautiful. That was beautiful. Alright, that's sweet because I failed my first attack on an easy base and wrecked this guy. So, yeah guys, just really happy with this attack. Good to always get a 3 star. I mean, it's always good to get a 3 star, I should say. Yeah, everyone loves it. Woo! <laughs> Man, that was intense. Ruddy crushed it. Good job, Ruddy. Very nice. Oh yeah, great spell placement. Far out. Thanks, guys. That poison was sweet, eh? That poison was sweet. Alright, yeah. So, a change that I made while I was doing the attack, when I realized that he did have a dragon two loons, I changed the poison placement. I'll show you in a sec. You'll see why I did it. Um, Because you don't really want to waste your poison on a drag because you're not going to take it out with that. You want to save it for the skellies once you realize that he's got high HP troops in the CC. So that's what I did. Had to make that change on the fly, but it worked out well. Um, bit late on those wall breakers. Should have gotten in there a bit quicker. Um, but yeah, beautiful stone go her. Um, waited on that rage spell as well. Oh yeah, that's good to watch. Alrighty, so let's have a look. Um, pop that bomb. Didn't pop the second bomb, which was good. Uh, CC comes out at that point, and I was like, yep, let's go rage. Yeah, because they destroyed that hero altar, uh, my king almost went AWOL, but lucky I saved that. Um, that jumped to let them all in, and then that king popped the bombs for me, so I knew it was time I could start hogging. Um, Golem's still tanking for heroes, and then just started a hog deploy. Um, two finger drop, 20 hogs, because I wanted to save those couple for the archer tower. Um, heal spell down, and I noticed that the hogs were about to bunch up on some buildings. So, because the hogs were going to stop, I knew it was time to use the poison spell on those pesky skellies. that will chase the hogs around. And you want to do that because if you're going to have skellies chasing your hogs around the whole base, um, the DPS over time is actually pretty crazy. You'll lose like between three and six hogs from it at least and that coupling that with the damage from the buildings um yeah you definitely don't want that and it can be the difference between a three star and a one star or a failed attack in general anything below a three star is a failed attack so yeah it was good decision on my part to use that poison spell there um then just chuck in my last four hogs Sorry about that. Chuck in my last four hogs on that archer tower. And then, yeah, just wait till everything came down and wait on that heal spell. You can see there's really no DPS coming in on my hogs. So I don't want to waste a heal too early. Uh, you, you just got a whiz tower and an archer tower. Archer tower is the only threat, but it's just one building. It's not going to do too much. I may have lost one hog from it. But in the grand scheme of things, I would have lost more on the other side. So I just waited on it. Uh, you can see the hogs take down everything really fast, so maybe one hog lost, but that's only one hog, and I got them all healed up for the end. Um, so yeah, clean up whiz on the opposite side of where your hogs finish, because uh, you want them doing DPS quickly, and just saving travel time on your hogs, pretty much. Um, so yeah, pretty good attack, I'm happy with that. Uh, thank you, everyone. Um, but yeah, King could have been a bit earlier. I'm not sure if that's what uh, Matt was talking about. Upgrade your hogs. Um, could have been commenting on my King. That's I should have put him in a bit earlier, but I was worried about the CC. I didn't know when it would pull exactly. Um, I guess that comes down to a better scout. But all in all... It was a good attack, and I'm happy with that. 
Uh, it's always good to come across a clan that has good bases because, you know, it's not fun just doing the normal farming wars kind of thing where you just match up against a random clan. They just use Go White, you three star pretty much every base. That gets boring after a while. So it's always good to come across a, a clan like LP4 Hades, even though this, I'm pretty sure it's an internet base. Uh, I haven't seen it, but I think it could be. Um, because lo a few wars ago, someone had similar base. I tried to go Laloon, didn't turn out well, because I suck at Laloon. Anyway, guys, chuck us a like if you like the video. Don't forget to comment down below. Um, just anything regarding the video. If you need any help with anything, I'll do whatever I can to help you out. Subscribe if you haven't already because I just like having a great subscriber base. My current subs, you guys are awesome. People watching my videos, you guys are awesome. Make sure to subscribe if you have not already because, you know, just build up the ruddy army. Nah, that sounds gay, but hey, nah, it's cool, man, it's cool. Um, thank you guys for watching. Two stars win wars, not really, and peace.